hearing in a moment. In the meantime, a teenager, age 13, is now free. After a nail-biting 18-hour standoff inside of his own home, there was an ex-con holding that young boy against his will. That man is dead. But not before the hostage taker asked to speak to a reporter from Fox Denver, not police, a reporter. And in his own chilling words, we can hear him say he'd kill the boy if police made a move first. What about the little boy, okay. though? I mean, those two, they come to the door. Um, it's, I'm sorry to the community. I'm sorry to anyone who has a heartstring attached to this situation or scenario. I know it sucks. I know it's a drag. Well, I want to bring in Dr. Keith Abloh, forensic psychiatrist, Fox News Medical Aid Teamer. How are you, Doc? And uh, good morning. Okay, Bill. There's a lot more of that conversation with that reporter we're playing in a moment here, but give your take on what was going on here. You know, the bottom line, Bill, is that there are people in the world, this hostage taker being one of them, who have a foreshortened view of the future. They don't see anything possible for them. Maybe that's because of events in their lives that set the stage even for their arrests and their lawlessness, events that were traumatic. So the bottom line is here you want to offer that man a vision of how his future can go forward, why it's not ho hopeless, and why he can still be, for instance, heroic in letting that boy journey forward from 13 to 14 to 15. Because he even says, listen, I'm sorry for anyone who's attached to this child. The bottom line is, if you can get him to feel an attachment to his own power to show empathy, that can be life-saving. Right, that, that is interesting, and perhaps police did a little bit of that. And you know they had a line to this reporter because they were watching the conversation. But what the convict said the entire time is that, I'm not going back to jail. I will die right. before I go back to prison. How do you manage that? Well, listen, I think the bottom line is to say, uh, we don't know that you're going back to prison, number one. We should really look at the case that sent you to prison. We should think about every alternative. We should look into the psychiatric symptoms that have led you to this desperate act. You know, are there mitigating factors? Should you be in an alternate setting? Now, none of these things may be possible to deliver, but if you could at least open up the possibilities yeah. and say, look, you're also looking at your life as ending with that prison cell, which it won't, which you may not even go to, let's be honest, but you can't end another life. You're thinking your life may be ending. It's non-negotiable. You can't possibly you know, and do I this, think this on that, I think on that point, that's what, that was the center of the efforts on behalf of police uh, in this reporter, and you'll see that right Very here. smart. Yeah, watch here. I have a son, and, and, and please, is there, is there anything you can do so that he he doesn't have to be hurt? Yeah, let me run. That's it. That's the alternative. Now, that first phrase, I have a son, too. Please, doctor. Yeah, you know, I think that that's key, is trying to kindle empathy in a person who seems to have none and for whom others may have had none, because I believe criminals are made, they're not born. So you have to presume, look, this is a guy who's been hurt, I would go so far as to say, listen, I don't know you, but in order to know more about you and what kinds of resources I can bring to you, tell me, I need to know what bad things happened in your own life. You didn't get here out of nowhere. Things happened. Help me understand you. Because to the extent you can build a connection with a person, it's tough for people to cut that thread. Once you've built it, even though they may say, I don't want to establish this connection, once they do, it's there. He is 34 years old. His name is Don Pooley, and he is dead as a result of this. Uh, Dr. Keith Ablo, thank you. It's always good to have you back on our program. All right, my Thank friend. you, sir. All right.